Hi, I'm Warren, and in this video, we're going to look at the data we're going to be using to build this Power BI report. Okay, let me open it up here. So the scenario here is that you're either doing a report for your own company, or maybe you're a data analyst or Power BI consultant, and you've been brought into a company to help them with their reporting. So they sell products to customers through multiple stores, and the data they're going to be giving us from their system looks as follows. This is their transactional sales data, where we have a sales ID, so there's a unique ID per record. We have a customer ID, so each one of these rows here would be a transaction. We have a customer ID identifying the customer that purchased that or did that transaction, purchased that product. We've got a product ID. We've got a store ID. We know the quantity that was purchased and the price. And then we have a date of sale. So this is our transactional sales data. And we're using Excel to get this data for the sake of this course, but we could connect to the database in SQL or you know any data source. If you look at the beginner course that I did in Power BI, I go through the different data sources. So if you haven't watched that, it could be an idea to go through that. They then also pass us a table of all these stores. So you can see this company has got four stores. They've got a Walmart, a Target, Best Buy and Costco, and the store address and here are the coordinates for each store. We have a data set with the product information, which has a product ID, a product name, and a product category along with the price for that product. We have a customer master table. At the moment we only have 36 customers, in the real world there'd be more. But I've created this customer table, we've got a name, we've got an age, a gender, occupation, and a city. And then a good practice is to you know, sit with the business and identify what they want to get from the reports that they're asking us to build. So what the business questions were when we sat with them and we discussed their requirement was they needed to find out what their total sales were, what quantity of product they sold, how many transactions they were doing, how many sales were they having, you know, at a branch for a product, etc. They wanted to understand worst and best performing branches, products, etc. from their data. So those are the questions they want answering. If we look at the data, we can create different dimensions. So a dimension would be a column that we could filter the data by. So how can we slice and dice their data? How can we show the business their data by what different categories or dimensions? So we could show it by region, because in our store table, we have an area where the store is. We also have a city where the customer comes from. So you would look at the data and you would identify columns that you could slice and dice the data by. So here we have latitude and longitude. We could use that. When we're looking at products, we have a product category we could group our data by or a product name. When we're looking at customer, we have age, we have gender, occupation, and city as dimensions that we could you know, group the data by. So we could look at it by region, by category, by product, by store, by customer demographic. And all of these we would want to do by time period. You always want to have a time dimension in your reporting that you can say, I want to group my sales by month, by year, by quarter. I want to look at it daily. I want to look at it year on year, etc. And then if we're looking at measures, so measures are the facts that we want to actually calculate. So we want to be able to go and look at total quantity as per the business request. We want to look at total sales. We want to count the number of transactions. We want to get the average sales, year to date sales. We can look at first last year if we want to, but these are the types of measures we could do, we could do if we were looking at their data. So it's always good. When you're sitting with the business, identify the questions they want answered and look at the data and identify how you can answer those questions by looking at certain dimensions and what measures or calculations we would need to answer those questions. 
So this is the data we're going to use. I will have a link to this data set in the description of the video where you can go and download it. In the next video, we'll look at the actual final Power BI model that we will be building. And then after that, we will build this model and report together. So thank you very much, and I will see you in the next video.